Hello and welcome to today's collective message. I have four crystals that I actually want to read for each crystal. So this is kind of like a pick a card reading, but we're still doing a collective message. So if you resonate with more than one crystal, with all of them, it is for you. If you resonate with a few of them, choose those few. If it's just one, choose one. If you don't resonate at all, there might not be a message today, which is totally fine. The first crystal that I will be reading is this clear quartz crystal. Oh, just kidding, actually. It is a uh, green amethyst, my bad. Clear quartz and green amethyst look very similar, but the green am amethyst, of course, has a green hue to it. I have a cat licking my foot. It is a weird sensation. And cats. <laughs> and then we have fluorite. This is green fluorite as well. We have hematite. And then we have, I don't know why it's not coming to me right now, pyrite. There we go. See if I can get a better one. So I'm going to give you a minute to choose which ones that you resonate with. Um, what I like to do in deciding which ones like resonate or feel like it fits in with me, I like to just wait like a, a second or two, maybe five seconds, and see if I get any sensations through my body, um, kind of like nudges from your intuition. So yeah, I'm just going to yeah, maybe give you like 30 seconds to a minute. Sometimes it takes me a while. Hmm. Waffles. Thanks. My sister's making me waffles. So nice. I am not the best when it comes to making breakfast. Hopefully that did not budge. I'm trying to get the shirt to like... I also am going to give you a minute so I can get organized. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you have decided which ones that you want to um, have the collective reading for. Uh, so the first one we're going to be reading for the crystal is green amethyst. A nice, lovely one. I did look up the meanings beforehand. I kind of forget actually what green amethyst is, but um, yeah, let me, it's kind of bugging me. Oh, I didn't know. Anyway, okay, so let's, first before, I'm going to like kind of sit with it and feel the energy of those who chose green amethyst. I'm getting that. Either you're seeking clarity or you're finding it. That's what you're striving for. Something to do with clarity. Something to do with your purpose as well. What I'm like envisioning right now is someone climbing this mountain, but there's like a path already on the mountain. Like it's already, it's made for anyone to climb. But it's a really steep mountain. So that kind of gives me significance that you have already you have already made a huge amount of work in dedication towards this clarity. It does have something to do with chaos. We have the five of swords. Um and this little puppy wanted to pop out. So right now where you're at. We're going to say your group one, okay, the green amethyst. Right now where you're at, you're at a place where you, you're starting to see putting things out there, like putting things out into the unknown, creation. You're starting to see 
that yes it does create chaos but it's like this chaos is actually opportunities um that you kind of have to think a lot deeper with you have to think a lot more into of uh more inner child i'm getting more kind of like the areas that you would focus on with shadow work these this is like trying to retrace my steps hold on yeah i'm getting that this is where you are taking charge uh this could be something where you're doing it for the first time ever but you're taking charge when the chaos it used to consume you to a point where it's like you cannot move anymore now you're at the point where it's like this you're you're like you're presenting yourself more you're more in your authentic power and this allows the chaos that you're kind of like part of this allows that chaos to really get control i'm getting that the chaos also had something to do with people pleasing as well um or just like wanting to make sure everyone else is good but when it came to you it was like you were the last person on the list to make sure is good so now i see that you are releasing this need to have people pleasing happen for you and it's allowing you to see what before was really distracting you causing you to feel like you're not on the right kind of progress this it's like now you're like feeling encouraged to move forward you're feeling as though you find more appreciation for when chaos comes around because you're realizing that when it comes to this type of chaos it's really improving you and leveling you up in ways where if it wasn't so chaotic there wouldn't be so many opportunities what i'm getting with you right now uh group one for the collective is really focusing on having a steady head having a steady mind um, being like balanced when there is chaos when you do that you're going to be a lot more mature with your actions your reactions and this will allow you to still have a win-win out of the situation where before uh, you didn't have that win-win because of the fact that you weren't so clear on what you need to focus on when this chaos comes around so that is really awesome that is all i have for group one thank you for joining me um yeah like major congrats on getting that clarity because it helps a lot it helps a lot this was your crystal green amethyst there also is another name for it i just kind of forget but yeah just so you know all right i'm gonna move on to pile two i kind of forget which crystal but we're gonna go with hematite the no it's in, yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go with hematite this is a very nice energy um that i'm feeling like i'm feeling with this crystal it's really grounded of course hematite on its own helps kind of get rid of negative energy um kind of rebalances i think i saw some <laughs> I think I saw something about it rebalancing your blood or something like that. Uh, I would absolutely recommend, though, getting hematite if you don't have any protection stones or crystals. Love it. Love it. I, I love the feeling of hematite myself. Um, so, yeah, if you're feeling urge, urged to get it, get it, baby okay so we're starting with the ace of pentacles actually before that i'm gonna there you go sometimes i just feel it let me also feel about the energy before i really begin on those cards 
I'm getting that you're on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Uh, but this boat, you're like out at sea alone on a boat, like a survivor boat. Uh, not the show, but like a like a boat, that a raft. Yeah, a raft. I'm getting that. It's kind of like you are surviving right now. Um, this could be honing in on, mm, this could be honing in on removing and letting go of kind of what is it helping you improve your life or what is it helping you feel happiness? Who isn't helping you feel happiness? Um, those that no longer you need in your life to be who you want to be. I see a lot of them leaving by like the freaking flocks. <laughs> I do see though on this boat that you do have supplies. You do have like the necessary means to survive. But it's like you're in between in this really large ocean. Man, the cards wanted to come. <laughs> okay, so we... How do I want to do this? you see all this? This is where it's at. So we have the Tower in reverse underneath the Three of Pentacles in reverse. We have a little kitty coming towards me who wants to play. Um, we have the World. Kitty's behind you also. We have the World. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah. The Three of Wands. You see how this hematite is over the Three of Wands? And then the Hermit. What I'm getting is that you are making a transition for yourself. With the World and the Seven of Cups on its side, that means that the energy hasn't fully set in, but it's on its way. With it being on, like, going to the right, because this is my... This is my right side. To me, that's signifying that you are releasing what is holding onto these two cards. With the Seven of Cups in the world, what I'm getting is that you're figuring out the what emotions or more than anything, what is attached to this emotional state that is more important or you want to focus on more in the future. Um, I have a dog licking my leg. Oh. <laughs> what you want to focus on in the future, kind of like how I was talking about getting rid of and letting go, kind of like this, where you, you have gone through some sort of realization I'm getting that it was kind of to your disadvantage as well. Like not the realization, but what of the real like what you realized, you realized you were at some disadvantage. But you are since you are working towards seeing what really is emotionally fulfilling for you, like what emotions do you want to feel um in a in like a kind of consistent basis. You're understanding, you're understanding how to let go. Simple as that. I don't know. It, it just came to me right off the bat. But you're understanding from a perspective that is on your own. You're kind of just, you're in your own influence and you're realizing like, oh, when I do this sort of habit, I feel this sort of emotion, but then you're also realizing what, what you're doing that's causing emotions that, not that you don't want to feel, but you don't want to have come up as often as you have, or as they have came up before. I want to see with the tower and the three of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> this was in the last uh group one your group two if you didn't know 
Uh, but we have, what is this? The Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands. I see that you have been a bit like proud of these, let's say these emotions, right? But then you realize that it's not actually as fulfilling as you want them to feel. Like these these emotions aren't as kind of filled with gratitude as you want. They don't last that long. It's kind of like you're now in this position where you're starting to get to be really familiar with mm, reacting with your emotions. Uh, what, which emotions will help you react in a way where it's at a win-win for you? Um, yeah, I'm getting really like right now, you're very much so in the sea of your emotions. But I'm getting that you have matured in the way that you look at your emotions. You've matured in the way of understanding your emotions and how they come into play um, with the rest of your life. So that is group two. I love that your emotions. I love it. You had hematite. Check out this crystal if you want to. We're going to go on to group three. We have fluorite green fluorite. Can't really say it. Ugh, my face. There you go. Green fluorite. Okay. Let me sit with it. I see that you're on this platform up in the air, kind of like it's some kind of balloon platform, like a hot air balloon, but I'm getting like, a, I, I don't know what, what this is. It, I know we used to have them back in the day. They're like these big old kind of like balloons but then they have these motors on them and you can like man I really don't remember what the name of it is but what I'm seeing is that you're in the air like you're standing on this platform kind of like Titanic when was it Jack and Rose were like this over the side that's kind of like you right now I see that you are at this point in your life where it's kind of like you're seeing freedom in a new way. You're seeing the freedom in future um, in a new way, in a new perspective, where it's you're getting excited. Like you're getting to a point where before, like way years before, you used to get super excited, but you went through a lot of things. And the things that you went through were a lot of kind of reality checks where it was really hard for you to feel like you could ask for help. Something to do with asking for help now where it's a lot easier for you. Kind of like you gave yourself permission to ask for help where before you thought like, oh, I'm totally fine. Like, I got it in the box. But I'm getting that before you were hesitating a lot when it came to your future because you were so strong in your contradictions. Maybe. I kind of... <laughs> when I said that, I was like, I, mm, I kind of don't remember what contradictions mean. But I see... Kind of like what I'm saying is you were so strong in the way that you judged and perceived even the future, you wouldn't budge. But now you're budging because you see that you were too stubborn for things to go to a point where you want it to go. We have the chariot in reverse and we have the world. So right now you're taking a step back from thinking that you're like right on the ball with judging things, with judging yourself. Um, and not only judging, but I'm getting that 
perceiving as well. Is that like the same thing? I'm not sure. But I'm getting that you are taking a step back from the habitual way of perceiving your future, the people in your future, the different kind of content of your future. And you're allowing yourself to just truly envision your future with like a clean slate. A clean slate. I want to see what fell. The Queen of Cups. This is something that you are not walking away from, but have kind of evolved from. Uh, I see that you're definitely a lot more mindful nowadays with your emotions and making sure that every step that you go um, towards kind of the future, making progress with the future, I see that you're asking yourself like the emotional side of you, how that feels. I'm getting that when it comes to your emotions, you're realizing now how important your emotions are when it comes to your future. There's something about how our emotions can lead, um, lead us, encourage us, but it can also deplete us and also uh, the opposite of encourage, kind of like, not discipline, but restrict us. Um, sometimes we kind of feel this fear and the fear really is just kind of excitement that kind of is like excitement for unknown territory. And with our emotions, sometimes our emotions is, tells us one thing, like it makes us believe one thing. But in reality, when we take a step back in the present moment and ask our emotional state and talk to it and listen to it, we start to realize that the emotions that we feel aren't really needed anymore in this moment and it's time to let go of that emotion and time to make space to receive a new type of emotion our emotions are always cycling we have the magician we have the two of wands and we have the knight of wands so i see that you have gone through some sort of graduation, if you will, with being able to get control, use your manifestation powers to be able to get control of what was kind of preventing you from getting to the three of wands, what was still keeping you in the two of wands where you are in this state of dreaming in the state of the imagination part for manifestation. But I see that you have put in the work to manifest getting order over what before was chaotic. Is that? Yeah, there you go. Um, so that's wonderful. So there really is a lot more of structure for you right now where it's like you are feeling inspired again, you're ready to conquer again um, with this new way of looking at your emotions and how, how they kind of have a part with, you know, with your life from present or from past, present and future. Okay, so that is group three with green florae. Boop, 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 boop. It's like on that face. Whatever. It's good. Okay. So we're going to do what, the last group. Oh, where is it? This was for group three, if you're still here. This was the bottom of your. Oh my God, it's not. This is the bottom of your deck. So you're getting out of something really uncomfortable. This is the top. 
it's kind of like you have to decipher now for your emotions what is going to be the most satisfying for you in the long run yes okay then last group we have pyrite look at that shiny 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 <laughs> okay let me I see that you're in this you're in the middle of this kind of pen and there's some kind of animal okay there's some kind of animal that you are trying to in a way get under control but I'm getting that it's more of a civilized control this animal um is more on the wild side it hasn't been like it hasn't been bred in the city okay uh my sister is making me waffles and it's ready so excited um but anyway so what i'm seeing is that you are using your experience using the wisdom that you've learned recently on how to get this creature under control before i see that it was just constantly raging constantly raging now i see that this creature it has slowed down to a point where it's like tired this creature is overexerting itself um or it has and now it is like war torn weary i say you could also say burnt out not to that extreme though i'm getting but something to do with it does not have much energy for it to be as chaotic or crazy out of control we are starting with oh my goodness let me we're starting with the lovers with the eight of wands with oh that totally was oh a rough burp <laughs> um the six of wands did i say the eight and then the six i'm on the queen of wands okay so ooh, i just remembered though pyrite is totally game for manifestation manifestation game baby game you think this is a game you think this is a game it could be <laughs> it could be okay let me get back to you i'm getting that this creature was actually part of you is part of you let me not do that I'm bouncing the table so uh, what has happened is that you have come to terms with the part of you that was just like out of control but from a place oh my gosh from a place of just needing to experience that out of control kind of like you partied the youth out of you if you will in this like party side of you uh let me see though before with like the party side of you that really was going hard what was the main energy of that interesting the queen of pentacles i'm getting that this party side of you has to do with luxury has to do with treating yourself um where is it now yeah you see how it landed right like right here this is where it's at baby the two of cups so really this side of you that has really been living that luxury lifestyle is ready to come uh to terms with releasing a lot a lot of attachments that they have to luxury i'm getting to the to your idea like you are releasing a lot of attachments to luxury the idea of luxury 
is changing for you. The definition of what luxury is for you is changing. I see that now that you're kind of, ooh, now that you're perceiving luxury in a different way, um, oh, okay, I'm going to retract, retrace my steps. So I also just thought of with the Queen of Pentacles appreciation more than anything. I'm okay, I'm gonna retrace my steps and I'm gonna say this. The chaotic part of you, that part of you that wants to like party all the time, the part of you that wants all the luxury, you're starting to understand that you won't always be at that point, and it's really important to remember and appreciate where you came from before how you were made into who you are. Being able to allow yourself to feel like you have the luxury before you have the luxury. There's something to do, and this really is like honing in on manifestation. My mind is like instantly going there. But let's say, that you want that luxury of being a multimillionaire. You have that idea. You have that want. You have that wish. You want to manifest it. You have to go through a lot of different steps, a lot of different forms, maybe. Maybe not a lot of different forms, but you have to change the way that you perceive money, the way you perceive making money, the way you perceive relationships, uh, with money. So what I'm trying to get at with that is that right now you're in a place where you're taking charge of this collaboration, this, this uh, relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. You're starting to understand that the value of gratitude and appreciation for what you created in the past the work that you put in to get to where you are now. There's something to do with looking at things in a way of appreciation and welcoming in as well. Having the compassion more than anything. I'm getting that in the future when you have different mishaps, when you have different kind of like things that don't go your way. A uh, sausage. Sorry. When things don't go your way, you in the future with this like new collaboration with appreciating uh, your past and what you've grown in terms of like the garden, you know, making that the shit that you got from the past compost for the garden of your now, if you will. With that kind of collaboration, it helps you be able to move on from these mishaps, move on from what didn't work out in the past so that you can continue on in the future, being grounded and present with what you want to focus on, what is most important to focus on. Yeah, which is great because honestly, if you can appreciate your past, no matter what kind of crap happened back then, you're going to be able to kind of like find some kind of luxury, if you will, from the past. Um, you're going to be able to get that rainbow after the storm has been through. I'm getting that when you kind of get into this form is when you're able to let go of things in a way that it feels very effortless in a way where it feels like you don't have any beliefs inside of you saying, wait, hold on. We got to keep this with us still. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, the bottom of the pile, we have the six of swords. In the top of the top pile, we have the Knight of Pentacles. 
I see with this, with this energy, yeah, you're like, you're ready to leave this habit of just holding on to the past um, with like, especially with things that didn't go right. You're releasing that habit and having that space and room for the habit of gratitude and appreciation for the past. Awesome. So that is pile four. If you're still with me, thank you. Thanks for checking this out. Um, I'm going to do a quick, uh, just like a generalized collective energy checkup. Um, yeah, I want to see what's up. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we have the hanged man. We have, what is this? The Seven of Wands. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So, what I see with this, the energy that kind of you're working with right now for the collective is not being so people-pleasing, not being, not giving away your value um, to others as much as you have. I see that kind of like the people pleasing has led you to the hanged person position where it's really uncomfortable for you to feel comfortable. Like, I mean, you're hanging upside down. But I see that you are getting control and organizing um, the way that you want to help others, the way that you can contribute to others. I'm getting that your kind of definition of helping others is changing. Your perspective of helping others is changing. I see that there really is, yeah, just kind of controlling, organizing, reorganizing, kind of like making sure right now that like who you're helping who you're contributing to um is allowing you to feel that freedom of self if you start to feel kind of restricted kind of like the hanged man if you start to feel as though you're in this position that obviously is uncomfortable for you Seeing how much that you're contributing to the situation will be really crucial for you in this moment. Yeah. So that is kind of the small generalized collective message. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really happy that I did this kind of new style of collective channeled message. Um, yeah. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, I have other collective channeled messages also on my channel and affirmation videos. Um, but yeah, so that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.